This is a uh, Asplund Whisper Street Tripper. I picked up at a auction for a thousand bucks, and it had new blades put in. It runs perfect, but it just didn't ship nice. Kind of like shredded into chunks. And I read up on it a little bit, and I figured I'd post this video and. Anybody else has a machine would understand what to do. This is the bar, to, it's called a uh, base bar or cutter, I guess, table, they call it. And you could disconnect, unbolt it with large bolts underneath. I used a three quarter inch gun. Johnny, turn it off for a second. I'm making a video. I'm making a video. You could turn the worn, as you can see, the rounded edge. Even if you got sharp blades, it doesn't cut. So you could actually rotate this piece in four different directions. Pretty cool machine to be able to do that. And basically replace it with the sharp edge now, the blades cut against here. Before, they're cutting against a rounded piece. So that part, we got to take a one inch, uh, three quarter inch air gun. Luckily, the bolts weren't frozen. And got that part out from underneath. And basically, let's see, you got uh, the machine here. You can see the drum assembly with, it, with the actual cutter teeth go in. The wedge goes in here. And these are the large Allen keys that adjust the height of the blade. They're not frozen either, luckily. And these holes hold actually 300 foot-pounds to hold the wedge down. These were loose when I ran when I first started the machine. Thank God no one got hurt. God forbid the thing would kill somebody. So you got to torque the three or four, let's see, three main bolts holding the wedge in at 300 foot-pounds and I would double check them and tap them with a hammer and make sure. Now that shelf assembly I just showed you in the shop is where the teeth I have the actual teeth being sharpened by a guy right now. He's got a whetstone. There's four sets and the drum. You can see the large Allen keys are in this area that you turn with an Allen key, adjust the height of the blade. The shelf in the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but it's down underneath here. Underneath is adjustment bolts adjust the vertical angle and it locks with the horizontal bolts. I torque them down, put any C's on everything and torque everything down. So far, well these actually, one of the other problems with these machines, these bearings. It looks to me like this is open that you could put lubrication in here. I'm going to put either a Zerg fitting or an oiler for 90 weight gear oil to go on these on both sides. Otherwise from what I understand these are simple machines and they're pretty easy to fix as long as you don't snap the bolts and the drum or have the bearings uh, wiped down. It's got a Ford 300 motor. Runs perfect. And it did work, it's just that it didn't do it the way, it didn't sell feed like it's supposed to. I guess they call these chucking ducks, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And the business end, oh, I got it closed up down. Open it up, John. Sure. Just that pin, that pin right there. Right, you watch it, don't come down on you. Right. Hold, you push up on it, pull the pin down. Okay, pull that straight down. Pull the whole hatch toward right, it. There you go. There we go. Okay. It's gonna go right to the ground, there you go. Anyway, the business end, as you can see, in there, that's the drum, 12 inch. So I'm gonna change out all these things. And the next video will be installing the knives and setting them. Alright, so see you soon. Bye-bye.